Tom Schultz, also at Q. Richard started out the session with a question, what's the nightmare? And um, I guess I'd like to ask the converse, which is somebody who has spent decades as a scholar and journalist um, being tough-minded about social change and education reform. What do you take away from, from this um, investigation that makes you hopeful? Well, I got excited about this issue in part because I heard about this thing called Perry Preschool. And if you're, if you're a hard-nosed social scientist, you assume that the answer to any piece of social research is no significant difference. I mean, you, you'd make a living on no significant difference. It's actually a famous you know, article out there in the political science literature, no significant difference. And here's Perry making a lifelong difference. Then I watched my then sister-in-law struggling to find a place where, you know, it wasn't either cookie cutter school or a school where the teacher well-intentioned really didn't have the competence to do the job and didn't succeed. That was her choice. Um, and then I started looking at the earlier version of those numbers. At a time when health costs are rising, right, and the pressure to cut taxes persists, and prisons are overcrowded, the idea that taxpayers are willing to spend two billion new dollars to do something good for somebody else's children is truly astonishing because the hope always for me is to restore some notion of the commons. You know, there's, a, there's a powerful place for the market in the society, but the market ought to be kept in its place. It's a line from an economist, uh, Arthur Rokin, who was at, you know, late, um, late Arthur Rokin, who was at, at, at Brookings. Um, and I, that's the hope, that people come to realize, however they get there, economic investment, international competitiveness, brain development, um, you know, less crime, whatever, whatever it takes, that, that, four, that we build on that $4 billion to expand this notion that what we're doing for somebody else's kids is good for the society. But this is really one of those cases when it's possible to do good by doing well. That's the hope.